For creating the open world experience, we definitely try to make it to where the players can actually see out pretty far and be able to see everything, which actually makes our job quite a bit more difficult. Yeah. But <laughs> We know a lot of games uh, just confine players to a certain area, using mountains mostly, and we just really decided we didn't want to do that. You know, we wanted to have an open world that the players can really go anywhere. And the thing is, they have jetpacks, so they can pretty much get anywhere they want to go. We want to create this sense of exploration. So if the player sees something, he'll usually want to go to it. So if we have like, this really cool mountain out in the distance, or if we have this island way out there, the player will usually try to find a way out there, and if they do, we try to usually create something. My favorite environment was, it doesn't have a real name, it's just our nickname for it, but Mushroom Island, yeah. the one you were working on. Yeah. Like at first, um, when you go into Copa, you uh, pretty much go on this drop ship, and you'd see it right at the very beginning. And for a long time, it wasn't playable. Finally, we went through and then made it all playable just recently. And so when you actually go from Copa over to there, you can actually work your way up to the top and then once you finally make it to the top, you get this really great vista from where you started, and you can actually see the whole path that it took you to get there. Bob and I have been really working really hard on actually not only the playable space when you start uh, the game, but also once you push back the melding. We have that all planned out, and not only planned out, but implemented already. Yeah, once we push back the melding, and we get to some of those environments that have like really been changed up, and I guess feel very alien, we'll have like, a whole new, something very different to work with. So Forge, yeah, no, I've worked in quite a few different game engines. I would say Forge is by far the easiest when it comes to moving things over and then also editing terrain and so many other things. It's very intuitive. I mean, we've had several times when we've had entire cities we've built, and it's like, oh, guys, we need, we need this moved like a mile down the beach. And it's like, <laughs> oh, okay, well, it's not going to be that bad because the tool we work with actually gives us the liberty to copy it, the whole city, and paste it down the beach. What's really cool about Firefall, another really thing that's really cool, is just the fact that we incorporate our PvP maps into our open world. If you go on to the coast, they had actually built this whole city just for games and an arena to watch all of the multiplayer and the PvP fights going on. And then you have it the other way around, we'll go through and we'll make something like the Chosen Fort or Shantytown, and they'll go in, and it's actually a really fun environment, and we're like, wait, well, you could actually make this into a PvP map. So we have story pretty much going from PvP to PvE and then back and forth. It's really awesome how dynamic Firefall is, because it's not like we just have a sterile world. I mean, it's alive and it's breathing. Which makes it a little difficult to design for. Yeah. Because it would be a lot easier before, because I'm used to making an environment and then uh, designing an environment to where there's an encounter here and the players can take route A, B, or C to get to it. Even our open world spawns, the creatures can just be uh, spawn out from anywhere, and it will randomize. It's such a big world, and it's so open, and, and you have jetpacks, and you can go anywhere, that I want to really make the player feel like they can really just dive into our environments and, and really almost get lost in this world we've created. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a better idea of the open world for New Eden and Firefall. Firefall comes out uh, soon. We're expanding our beta, and I hope to see you in uh, the open world.